Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. It is ugh, out today. It's cloudy, rainy. It's not cold, cold, but it's a little chill in the air. So y'all know what that does to my psyche, but we have good weather on the way. We just got to get through the weekend and then we're going to see brighter, sunnier days. But I do have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. This is all from my local Dollar Tree on Raleigh Road in Henderson. And let's jump right into it because I have some frozen stuff that I got to get back in the freezer. Okay, without further ado. Okay, my sweets. I try to wear green. I have green nail polish. This was the greenest scarf that I could find. And y'all know when it's time to do my hair again, I just rather wear my scarves, you know, they're attractive. They don't look, you know, what's the word I want to use? They look good. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> but let's jump right into this Dollar Tree haul because it is, uh, it's a nice size. So the first thing I purchased was, I showed these in my walkthroughs as always. This is Imperial Garden Fully Cooked. Micro microwavable chicken pot stickers and y'all know I buy my pot stickers from all these you get a bigger bag and it's less money but I saw these at the Dollar Tree they have them in pork and they have them in chicken and I just grab one bag when my sister and I make the um pot stickers for our dinner I'll just add these to the ones from Aldi but yeah they say um 125 just heat and serve in microwave which we don't microwave the it's a nine count and it's a 5.5 um, ounce bag i believe these have gotten smaller as everything else you guys you know but it's a nine count it looks like this imperial um, gardens chicken pot stickers we love pot stickers y'all i mean absolutely adore them so they do have them in pork and they have them in chicken. And I always get the chicken at both Aldi's and at the Dollar Tree and probably everywhere else. They have them in pork and they have them in chicken. And these are um, Best Buy January 17th, 2024. So it looks like that. So I got that. And then, I'm sorry for the bag, but I got all the frozen stuff in a bag. So if you know, I'm in my bedroom on my bed. I found this new to me, um, uh oh, Hilados, Helados, Mexico. This is premium, um, uh, bolus. I don't know what that means. It's ice cream. It's a bolus con crema. My girl Isel Rosie can tell me what this is, but I had to get it because it looked good. It says frozen milk bar, four fluid ounce. And the flavor is Rompope, Rompope, and it's Best Buy, May 11th, 2024. They had this in my local Dollar Tree, and it just looks like an ice pop, but I'm not sure. I have to check the milk content because I might have to pass that over to my sister. And then again, it's small enough where it might not bother me, but I'm looking for the ingredients, and it says water, um... I don't, I don't know what that says, but I will check the product. I will check the ingredients to make sure, but it just looks like a frozen ice pop to me. I've never seen these. I've seen variations of the Mexico ice pops, which they did have, but I've never seen this one. If you could see the name on it. So I grabbed that. Okay. Just one. I just wanted to try it. And then I used to love this ice cream back in the day when I could eat ice cream, but I think it was either Ben and Jerry's or Hagen dazs was the culprit that told me I could no longer, um, what do you call it, digest dairy. So I became lactose intolerant. But these are so small, I've already devoured one and it didn't bother me at all. But they have Ben and Jerry's, four fluid ounce ice cream at the Dollar Tree. And I know for $1.25, that doesn't seem like, you know, goodbye. But to me, it's perfect for portion control, you know, and 
you go into the grocery stores and try to buy a little, what is it, one quart of Ben & Jerry's ice cream, you know how much you're going to pay, right? I did show these in, in my previous walkthrough. They had, um, this one is cookie dough, Vermont's favorite Ben & Jerry's cookie dough. So I got that one for my sister. Let me see if we can see this better over here. So I got that one because I don't, I don't try to eat vanilla ice cream at all. Even though it's been my favorite my entire life, vanilla ice cream will beat me up, okay? So I had to switch to chocolate, okay? So when I do have ice cream, I try to eat chocolate ice cream. And I got the Vermont's Finest Ben & Jerry's Chocolate Fudge Brownie. This is the one that I've eaten already. And I loved it, and it did not bother me at all. I mean, not one bit. I love it. I went back today, and I purchased four more because I only bought two of these. And both my sister and I like chocolate ice cream. So this is chocolate brownie, chocolate fudge brownie, excuse me. This is chocolate fudge brownie. Oh, my God, y'all. These are so good. And they're April, what is that? April 19th, 2024. So for the fudge brownie, I'm sure the cookie dough is pretty much the same. Oh, May 22nd, 2024 for the cookie dough. And then I purchased, uh, I think I got my sister <clears throat> a strawberry cheesecake. And oh, this sounds so good, y'all. It sounds so good. I want to eat it so bad. But it's vanilla ice cream, and I know it'll probably make me sick, but this one is May 11th, 2024. This is the strawberry cheesecake. Hope you guys can see that. Let me see if it looks better over here. Ben and Jerry's at the Dollar Tree, y'all. I'm so stoked. <laughs> so I think that's it. They had, um, what was it? Cherry Jubilee, I believe, was the other flavor that I did not get. They had the strawberry cheesecake, the cookie dough, the chocolate fudge brownie, and I believe it was Cherry Jubilee, but I didn't get Cherry Jubilee. So that is it on my frozen items. I'm going to get this stuff back in the freezer, and I'll be right back. Okay, my sweets. I have a few more food items that I purchased, and then we'll get into the miscellaneous stuff. I did find some more of the chicken of the sea and my local Dollar Tree, and this is the imitation crab meat, but I've seen on someone else's channel, and I have no idea who it was, they had the imitation mackerel, sardines, and something else in these same packages of chicken of the sea, but I have not seen them in any of my stores yet. But I did go back and get two more of the imitation crab meat, because I absolutely love this on crackers. I love it in my salads, mostly on top of my salads. But their Best Buy is March 31st, 2024. And they had such great dates on them. I went ahead and got two more. But when I see, I got a lot of the sardines when they were came out with the new ones in the cans, like in the Louisiana hot sauce and stuff like that. So I'm kind of piled up in my pantry, but... If I see them in these packages, yeah, y'all gonna see them too, okay? So I did get those. And then I finally, the final, sorry, the co um, drinks that everybody's been showing finally showed up at my store. And I only found them in the two flavors. I don't know if there's any more out or not, but I did find the co packed with probiotics. It's kombucha, only better, the watermelon. It says it only has 25 calories per can, and it's a 12 fluid ounce can. And the Best Buy or Exploration Diet, I'm not seeing. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing it on here. It's probably here, but I can't find it. But anyway, this is what it looks like. This is the co. Sorry, y'all. Me and these lights in this room are horrible. But this is the Co Watermelon Kombucha. Now, I don't know anything about kombucha, but they say it tastes better. So I'm going to let my sister be the guinea pig and try these because it has probiotics and she really needs probiotics. So, yeah, I got the watermelon 
and I got the strawberry lemonade. The strawberry lemonade sounds really, really good. Again, it's a 12 ounce can. It's only 25 calories per can. Oh, is that the expiration date? Yeah, it's really, really in light writing. It says Best Buy, um, July 25th, 2023. So there is the strawberry lemonade. I hope you guys can see that. I know there's a glare and I'm so sorry, but I'm getting kind of comfortable filming in here, but I have a couple of reviews coming up and I'll be back in my dining room. So this one on here is smeared out. So it's probably around the same date, but yeah, I was happy to see them because they finally made it to my local Dollar Tree. So I got those two. And I showed you guys the uh, Splenda Sweet Cream Creamer the other day. No sugar, no corn syrup. My store finally got the French Vanilla. And these are eight fluid ounces and it's only 15 calories per serving. And there is, um, how many servings in here? Um, 16 servings per container. And the Best Buy is, underneath my glasses, um, September 28th, 2023. I only purchased one. Like I told y'all, I got the big thing of creamer from Aldi's. But these come in handy in between times. Y'all know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So I got the French Vanilla. Finally got it in our stores. Yay. And I think that, oh, one more thing in the food item, and I've already gotten into these. I did not like the other Jell-O candies that I hauled, the ones with all the sugar on them. I didn't care for those at all, but these are really, really good. I've already gotten into this bag. It's probably not even a half a bag left. These are the Jell-O gummies, lime, berry blue, and strawberry. And they are a 3.75 ounce um, bag and they best by March 22nd, 2024. These are yummy. <laughs> I don't get jello, but honey, y'all know I love me some gummies and these were delicious. So as you can see, I already got into that, that bag. I haven't tried this one yet. This is the lime berry blue strawberry. These are sour gummies and they look like they have that sugar on them. Uh, I hope it's not all that sugar on them, but these are Best Buy March 23rd, 2024. Can you see all the little, let's just open them up and see what they look like because, yeah, if they have all that sugar on them, I'm not going to like them at all. I mean, I like a little sweet here and there, but not too much. Let me say, Ugh, they do, they do, y'all. They have all that sugar on them. You can see that. Yeah, so they have all that sugar on them, which is like the other ones that I purchased. But, <clears throat> excuse me, my sister, oh, they smell so good. My sister might like them, but yeah, I was excited to find them in my local Dollar Tree. So I did get one bag of each, okay? And now we're going to hop into the miscellaneous. Okay, my sweets, um, I missed one day. Just one day of going to the Dollar Tree and they finally, finally put out the crazy socks in my local Dollar Tree. So by the time I got there, the only ones that I found that I wanted were these three. These are the crazy socks, fits men's shoe size 6 to 12, crew one pair. These are the cup of noodles. And y'all know I love my cup of noodles. So you got the crazy socks and this is the cup of noodle one. And then I found the mac and cheese. And who doesn't like mac and cheese? So this is the Kraft macaroni and cheese. So it looks like this. And the mac and cheese. I was very excited to find these. I didn't find all the ones that I was looking for. But when I went to Virginia today, I found the other ones that I was looking for, which will come up in another haul. So this is the Oreos. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> we all love our Oreos. I was watching Thrifty Tiffany the other day or yesterday, and she paired all her socks with um, the item in the store for her children's gift basket. So she took a pack of Oreo cookies, pa um, paired them with the Oreo cookies, etc., etc., etc. I thought that was a neat idea. But my socks runneth over, y'all. 
I don't need these. These will be gifted out to somebody because my drawers are bulging, okay? And this, this, I used to do that to my little nieces when they were little girls. They're both grown now, but it was from the Little Mermaid. <laughs> and those girls would crack up every time I did it. Oh, this was a wish list item for me. And I was so, so stoked to find it at my local Dollar Tree. This is a Premier Plus seven day pill organizer. And I think this thing is so awesome. First of all, it's so colorful. Look at that. Okay. Then you have the little day and the night on each container. Each container is separate. So if you're going somewhere, you don't have to take your whole pill box like me and both my sisters do now. If we go somewhere else, we have to take the whole pill box. But with these, these are so nice. Let me see if I can get this plastic off. You just open this up like this. Okay, look at those pretty colors. My purple. <laughs> and it's already labeled Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, etc. And you just open it up like this and you fill up your pill boxes for the week. And then you have all your little pills in here where you can just take this one little compartment with you and not the whole thing. I just thought that was such a great idea. And for it to come to the Dollar Tree for $1.25, I got three of these. One for each of my sisters because we all take, you know, medications or supplements. So I was just so happy to find that. So I did purchase three of those, $1.25. It's one of the best buys, I think, to me, that the Dollar Tree has come out with. Um... The doubt, that extra 25 cent to me is really starting to pay off. It really is. They were slow, but it's starting to get here, okay? All right. <laughs> okay, my sweets. These were another few items that I have been seeing on other people's hauls for eons and eons and eons and never thought that I would ever see them in my local Dollar Tree, but here they were. I found the Hemp Heaven Hemp Seed Oil Body Wash Natural Moisturize Soothe Hydrate. And it's a 16 fluid ounce of hemp body wash. And it smells so good, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells like shampoo. That's what it smells like. But it smells divine. I wish it had been sealed, but... Y'all know I check my tops every time I buy anything like this. And I ask the cashiers to put this kind of stuff in separate bags from my other products. So if it does spill, it's just spilling on itself. So I did grab that. I was really happy to find that. And staying with the hemp stuff, I also found the Hemp Heaven Hemp Seed Oil Body Lotion. This is a coconut, moisturize, soothe, and hydrate. This is a 12 fluid ounce of body lotion. Okay, and I'm working on <laughs> my other lotion that I got. I'm all out of my Dermasil Cocoa Butter, and I really love that lotion, but I have to use up what I already have or what I keep purchasing before I go out and buy more of it. But this coconut, Smells really, really good. It smells like coconut. You can actually smell the coconut in it. So it really, really is nice. And I just, I was like, I'm shook at my local Dollar Tree. And then the second one I found, the third one I found was the Hemp Heaven Hemp Seed Oil Body Lotion in Strawberry. And it says the same thing, moisturize, soothe, hydrate, and it's a 12 fluid ounce. I could not believe I found these at my local Dollar Tree. Again, this is on Raleigh Road in Henderson. For all of my local subscribers that watch my channel, if you're looking for this stuff, get get there. Get there if, if yours don't already have it. So now the strawberry one did not smell strawberry, but it smells good. It really smells good, but you don't get... Oh, God, I could smell this stuff all day long. You don't get strawberry, I don't believe, but it smells divine. So 
yes i was very very happy to find those items at my local dollar tree and moving right along okay my sweets this is something that i thought was just so cute this is by sassy plus sassy and chic mini sponges and you get a three piece of latex latex free little beauty sponges and i just thought they were so cute and you know you can use them to get into the little creases and stuff like that I only purchased one because I just thought they were just too cute to pass by. So I did grab those. I just like, what? Mini sponges. And this was the only color I saw so far at my local Dollar Tree. So I grabbed those. And then, again, the La Mercier, I think Le Mercier, um, makeup actually hit my Dollar Tree. And I was very, very happy to see it. This is the La Mercier Long Lasting Eyeliner, and it's 0 0.8 fluid ounce, and I was really, really, really happy to find these. If you can see it, La Mercier, I think I'm saying it correctly, and it's the eyeliner, and I've heard really, really good reviews on this product, and I didn't Google it in my phone to see what the prices were like, but I'm sure you know, it's way more than $1.25. So this is the Volumizing Mascara and 0 0.7 fluid ounces of the La Mercier, La Mercier Mascara Volumizing Mascara. It's so pretty. The packaging will get you just all by itself. It's like pink with the gold writing. And this is a volumizing um, mascara. So you can see that. I was just like, what? It hit my store. This is in Midnight Black Volumizing Mascara. And the eyeliner is also Midnight Black. Okay. And then the third item that I uh, found in this package is the Matte Finish Setting Spray. And it's just so pretty. It's one fluid ounce of La Mercier Setting Spray. So it looks like this. And I was so, so happy to find them, y'all. I really was. You'd be watching other people's hauls and you'd, you'd be cringing, you know, like, is it going to come to my store? <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it does. I'm so happy. And the last item in this line is I found the La Mercier Favorite essentials collection this is the nude smoky shimmery eyeshadows with applicator and it's a quad and it's total weight 0.11 ounces and it just says nude smoky nude smoky so if you can see that look at those pretty colors with the little shimmer in them so i got that more than likely i will probably be putting all four of these items in my next giveaway just as a gift to say thank you to you guys because I have so much makeup and I don't even wear makeup. I mean, I wear a little bit, but not, not a lot, but yeah, I really bought those for y'all. Okay. And this item was new to me. I got the other ones that they had with the hashtag, um, throwback Thursday, et cetera, et cetera. But this one is text processions. And you get 20 sterile adhesive bandages. And I just thought they were so cute. You have one that says laugh out loud, one with a smiley face, one with shaking my head. And the other one, I think, is a frown. And it has a question mark up at the top, if you can see that. Okay, and it says text precision. And you get 20 bandages. And these are what they look like right here so you got laugh out loud smiley face shaking my head and then i think that's a frown but on the back it has got a bandage and it has question marks so let's look into this and see what we got going on here because i got the other one and i have it hooked into my purse just in case i ever need a band a band-aid and they come just like the same ones the little hooks and you just open it up. Let me see. Yep. You just open it up. <clears throat> and you pull these out. And let's see. You should get five of each. 
So on this one, we have the smiley face. Yeah, they're the same. So yeah, you get five of the smiley faces. And then on back of them, it has got a bandage, um, GB. Got a bandage, I guess. So it's question mark. So it looks like that with the smiley face. So you get five of those. And then you get the frown. <laughs> and they all say the same thing on the back. So you get five of those. And then got a bandage question mark GB and then this one is the laugh out loud laugh out loud laugh out loud <laughs> really really cute I had not seen these in you know before so I didn't even know they had a different one out and this one is my favorite shaking my head but I usually put a D in there shaking my yeah uh-huh because people will make you shake your okay anywho I digress <laughs> So we've got shaking my head and then the same thing on the back got a bandage so I thought these were so darling I only got one I asked my sister if she wanted one but she said no she didn't want she didn't want another one so I didn't get her one I had just purchased one because I just thought they were too cute to walk past but I especially like this because when your bandages are out you can use this for something else so that is the hashtag of procession. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, it said text processions. It doesn't say hashtag. It says text. So that's it on that. And coming up, the thumbnail. Okay, my sweets. The thumbnail is I found some new home luminaire um, flexible LED desk lamps. And you probably saw these on my community page if you're affiliated with my channel. Um, I saw Linen Things haul um, this like a day or two before they showed up at my local Dollar Tree. And y'all know I have all the other lamps. For some reason, our store does get the lamps. We have three different lamps in our stores right now. And when I went to Virginia and the small Dollar Tree, they all had the same ones, but this is a heavy mamma jamma, okay? This is something that I would love to ship to others, but it's heavy. And so it was. it's going to cost you some coins if you try to ship this. But I did purchase three of these, one for me, one for each of my sisters. You can see how it's flexible. You can use this as your um, backlight when you're doing your videos. It says the direct light where you need it most no bulbs to replace flexible neck neck convenient on and off switch and sturdy base so that's what it says on the box and i got two gray and one white i probably should have gotten two whites and one gray because i like the gray my sisters probably like the white but anywho but i did get this is what it looks like in the white and I just thought that was such a great deal for a dollar twenty-five. I'm telling y'all, man, these lamps. I don't know how the Dollar Tree does it. I don't know how they get them and can sell them for a dollar twenty-five. But I don't even care. So I'm opening it. It looks like this when you open when you take it out of the box. The whole thing comes out. No bubs necessary. It's all winded up, so you can just unwind it looks like this and I'm going to plug it in real quick and let you guys see what it looks like it has a nice long cord so here you go let me plug this in right back okay my sweets I have it plugged in the little on and off button is right here and we're gonna put this on whoa 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 this little thing is like what in the world you can turn it up like this, make a ceiling light. You can flex it any way you want. <gasps> oh, ooh, she cute. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, for a dollar twenty-five, y'all. Look at this light on this thing. I'm not gonna point it at y'all again, but this the base is really, really heavy and nice and sturdy, just like it said. And there you go. Anybody need some light? Come into the light. Come into the light. But I think that is phenomenal for a dollar twenty-five. 
But that is it, you guys. That is it for today's haul. I will have a few more hauls coming up for you before I hit the road. Jack, don't you come back no more, no more. Oh, I'm sorry. I get lost in songs. But <laughs> yes, before I hit the road again, I do have a few more hauls. I found some good stuff, you know, new stuff to me. Basically, that's all I ever look for is something new. Not the same old stuff every day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye, guys. <laughs>